Happy New Year 2024 to Geo's Passion and the GPP, Geo's Passion Posse. I am here walking outside, not in the studios today. I wanted to take a walk on this beautiful day and uh, just check out what's going on in life. Uh, I want to give you my predictions of what's going to happen in 2022 and a couple of other things. So, as you know, the markets are going crazy. Uh, Bitcoin is going to have an ETF which for those of you who do not know what that is, that's an electronic funds, uh, electronic transfer of funds. In other words, it means that you can invest in Bitcoin without actually investing in Bitcoin. So a big company called BlackRock is the one that's doing that and they're expected to get approval uh, this month. So we shall see. Let me cross over here. I brought you guys and gals a couple of videos in the past of um, Marauder Lagoon. I'm here at the Marauder Lagoon. And uh, I haven't posted something about Marauder Lagoon in a long time because uh, things have just been really crazy. So, But this time I got a chance to uh, walk around, especially New Year's. I had a couple of days off, so I figure I'd make this video, say what's up, and uh, tell you about my motivating factors for 2024. As you can see in the background, we are here. Remember those videos? Yes. If you don't remember those videos, that was my Marauder video and um, a couple of videos on being a realtor and stuff like that so check it out if you get a chance um, I'm coming up here to the Marauda Lagoon I'm gonna turn the video around right quick that way you can get a quick view of it stand by here so this is the Marauda Lagoon uh-huh finally got built out and of course it's too chilly to be out here enjoying the beautiful <laughs> Marauder Lagoon. But uh, as you know, you know, things happen in life and good, bad, and ugly, but um, life must go on. So again, I'm recording here from the Marauder Lagoon in San Antonio, Florida. As you see, the lagoon opened last year and with that came along a whole bunch of people visiting and checking things out. Uh, I really enjoy the opportunity to live in a lagoon community because you know, it's not like everything else on earth. You know, you got a pool in the house, you got a lagoon in your backyard. It's pretty, pretty cool. So I hope uh, if you live in the Tampa Bay area, you get to experience something like that because it is a uh, maybe a once in a lifetime event. Now, with that said, and without further ado, what we came here for. So 2024. 2024 is going to be a little crazy when it comes to housing market, finances, and stuff like that. And what I think is going to happen is, I personally think there's going to be a crash in the economy. I think that with the Fed stopping rates and with interest rates going down, I think that we're going to see some unemployment tick up. Uh, will it be bad as 2008, 2009? Maybe not. But I see maybe a 50% from what happened in 2008 and 2009. The thing that got me is all these people are talking about this is the best time to buy a house. It's not the best time to buy a house. Uh, house prices are coming down. If you look at Realtor.com, I don't even do Zillow because Zillow, in my opinion, is not uh, good information. It's not updated regularly. But if you look at Realtor.com, you see a lot of homes in Tampa, Tampa Bay area have gone down 50%, uh, not 50%, I'm sorry, $50,000. $20,000, $25,000, these homes have gone down real fast, real hard. And because of that, I think that you should wait. Even if you are approved for financing and things like that, still wait to buy a house. Wait for the prices to go down. Because remember, you can always refinance, but if you're refinancing on a house that's overpriced, it makes no sense. So again, let's wait on that. Unemployment is going to tick up. There's going to be more inventory in the housing market where the home prices are going to start to come down because you're going to start seeing people, especially in Florida, are not going to be able to afford their homes. And homeowners insurance is going up. Automobile insurance is going up. Since the value of the properties have gone up, all of a sudden taxes have gone up and mortgages have gone up. The problem with taxes and mortgages going up is that now those people who could usually afford a house, no longer can afford a house. 
They no longer can afford to live in the house, especially if they're on a fixed income, which a lot of uh, older Floridians are on. So what ends up happening is now you can't afford that house. You can't afford that mortgage. And I've told you about that in videos in the past, multiple videos in the past, where at the end of the time, a little tick, a little tick in the either the homeowner's insurance or the taxes causes the mortgage to go up. And that little tick, now the customers can't afford it. Oh, the homeowners can't afford it. So that goes back to back in the day, a couple of years ago, when I told you when interest rates went up and then the all of a sudden, the people who trying to qualify for a mortgage, they couldn't qualify for a mortgage. So what ends up happening? Then they don't qualify, they can't get the house. So that's how it is. But if you sit back and you look at it, now with things going on, it's gonna be the opposite, but it's gonna be with the people who own the homes. They're gonna lose their home because they can't afford maybe one, two, three hundred dollars more a month because the taxes went up because of property insurance, property taxes, HOAs going up, everything's going up. So what you're starting to see is you're starting to see a whole bunch of people leaving Florida and going halfway up to either Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, and states like those where, yeah, the savings might not be as much as in Florida, but the cost of living is lower in the, in the, uh, in the overall. So with that, that's my prediction of what's going to happen in the 2024 housing market. Um, the job market is going to be a little shaky, like I said, and you know, there's going to be travel, there's going to be tourism, there's going to be construction, but maybe not as much. And remember, when things go down, what ends up happening is the things go down from the top bottom. So if the homeowners, if the home builders, say home builders are not building anymore because, you know, too much inventory out there or they're waiting for the market to turn around, they stop building. Now, those people who are supplying the tools, the mechanics, you know, the windows, those who apply, are supplying lumber, all of a sudden that goes down. And then it's a cascading effect, just like in 2008. Will it be as bad as, bad as 2008? I don't think it's going to be as bad as 2008. But again, you never know. So as you can see behind me, that's the uh, entrance to the Murata Lagoon. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice lagoon. Uh, there's four, no, one, two, three. There's three in Pasco County. There's one here in Murata in San Antonio. There's one in Epperson Lagoon in Wesley Chapel, Florida. And then there's one, a new community called Angeline, which is in Land of Lakes. So there's going to be three in Pasco County, Florida. There's one in South Shore, which is the southernmost part of uh, Hillsborough County. And that one right there, um, that's the furthest one there. And then, of course, you have another one that is down in uh, Fort Myers. So... The uh, state of Florida was only supposed to have three. They ended up now with five. So four, five, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four? Three, four, five, five, yeah, five. Ugh. Don't know my math, so. But anyway, so that's, that's what's going on there. Now, I will tell you, in 2024, you know, how the beginning starts. Everybody's rah, 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 2024, I love it. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that. And again, that's why I tell you, if you go back to my old videos, uh, the 2023 prediction, you know, everybody says they're going to do stuff. Everybody said they're going to do this, they're going to do that. But what ended up happening is we, as a society, became stupid. More stupid than we were before. And some of you might get offended, might be like, ah, oh, I'm not stupid. Uh, yeah, but uh, when you sit two, three hours watching TikTok, while you're sitting on the toilet and your legs go numb, now you know what I'm talking about. Because at the end of the day, what happens is, and I've said this in other videos, I've said this in my podcast, that the people who are doing this are the ones who, you know, they get some money. They make money here, they make money there, everything's fun and blah, blah, blah. But there's a negative outlook on this. Because again, the Chinese are the ones who have, who own TikTok. And their TikTok, when it comes to China, is very family orientated, is very beautiful. It uh, represents the country and the people beautifully. But when it comes to TikTok in the United States, 
all of a sudden you're showing your ass you're shaking your ass um it's got every stupid little thing you know you're going to the gym or you're trying to work out of the gym and all of a sudden just so you can get views some girl goes oh he's a pervert oh this and this and that i'm like really and there's a guy named joe swole joey swole and he he gets on his videos and he talks about how this is so stupid you're doing it for clicks you're in a public area and actually it's a private area it's owned by the gym so technically if the gym wanted you to stop video recording you have to stop video recording you understand what i'm saying i wonder how things would change if all of a sudden there's no more video recording Ooh. All of a sudden, these quote-unquote influencers who don't influence shit, all of a sudden, they're like, oh, okay, now I can't do nothing. So that's how it is. But going back to 2024, I've worked my, I worked my ass off in 2023. And those of you who know me know I was barely available. I did take trips. I ain't going to lie. I worked my ass off, but I took some trips. I went to Nashville with my buddy Kev. Um... I went to Marco Island. I got videos in, uh, in, the, in my YouTube channel, Geo's Passion YouTube channel, uh, with experiences from that. Uh, first time, you know, and again, last year, I told you about experiences. I told you about experiences, and here we go again. Uh, first time flying first class. It wasn't a big flight, but it was an experience. It was the experience of flying first class from Nashville to Tampa. So that was an experience. That's a great thing. And as I uh, show you a little bit more about Murata, yeah, so it's a, it's a beautiful place. But anyway, again, the experiences. So what happens, all right? So 2024 is here, you, uh, you wanna lose weight. 24 is here, you wanna do something better. 2024 is here, your relationship didn't work out. 2024 is here, all of a sudden you think you're gonna be a CEO you're going to be a boss, babe. You're going to be, uh, you know, a red pill guy. Look, you can tell everybody what the hell you want to tell them. But at the end of the year, nothing happens until you take that first step. When you get off your ass and you move it. You got to get off your ass. You got to move it. You got to take that step. You got to do what you got to do. All right. And again, like I said, 2023, I got off my ass and I changed things up. I made money. I reached a certain level where, okay, now I'm comfortable. All right, my investments are starting to take place, which is great. You know, I was in, in real estate. You know, I had homes. I sold my homes, all right? I bought my, my house that I have now, and then, you know, I waited a little bit. 2024 is gonna be a little different now. Because I worked, because I made money, and because I have um, some money put aside, I can qualify for a nice loan, I'm gonna wait till those prices go down. I'm going to wait for those people to default on their mortgages. I'm going to wait for an opportunity that will allow me to become, not rich, but to become uh, a landlord again, if you want to say. Start becoming a landlord again, get my investment properties, and then get back into the mix the way I was doing it before. All right? So you make decisions in life you regret. Some decisions you make in life, you do it for security. Others, you do it because you're stupid. But hey, everybody's got to take a chance. And if you don't take a chance and you don't take a step and you don't experience what you had to experience, all of a sudden you're like, huh, okay, I never knew about this. I'll never know about that. And when people talk to you about it, you're like, oh, I'm not going to do that. I'm too scared. I'm not going to do that. I'm too scared. No, the hell with that. So that's my, my real estate. That's my financial. And that's my uh, employment for 2024. Now relationship. Relationship is a big thing. And you all know that I post, you know, on my uh, podcast, <laughs> I have stories, uh, horror stories that I've heard from you folks and good stories and bad stories and, and crazy things. You know, I hope your Christmas was great. I hope you were able to kiss a, a loved one under a mistletoe. I hope you were able to watch Love Actually, you know, movies like that and enjoy yourself. And I will say, this is the first time in 25 years that I actually had to work Christmas and had to work New Year's. But it's the decision that I made. It's the decision that I made because I know, hey, at the end of it all, in the long run, it's going to be well worth it. All right? So it's the decision that I made. 
I worked it. I experienced it. All right, that's good. But next year, I won't be working Christmas. I won't be working New Year's. I'm hoping to be in, um, in Hawaii in Christmas of 2024. You know, uh, God willing, things work out with the elections and peace comes on earth and stuff like that. You know, maybe 2025, I'll be uh, traveling overseas, you know, to London the way I wanted to travel to London or to um, Italy, uh, Spain, France, um, you know, Greece. Maybe I'll get that chance to finally go to Monaco and, uh, and Monte Carlo and put my, uh, my $100 bet down and say, I'm Bond, Jack Bond. But you know, that's how it is. That's how it is. Again, experiences in life. All right. But I will tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to be stuck in a relationship where I'm not loved. I'm not going to be stuck in a relationship where I'm doing everything. I'm going to have a partner who completes me. I'm going to have a partner who, at the end of the day, understands me, knows that, yeah, I work my ass off and be there when I need you in the sense of not being needy, but need you because I want some companionship. What you have to understand is that nowadays with the whole anti-man, anti-woman movement, things are not done well. You know, there, there's such hate and vitriol against both genders, and that's done on purpose. That's done to separate us and keep us divided. But what you need to know is that in 2024, you're going to step up your game so much that it's not going to matter about, you know, this and this and that. And because you'll be like Jerry Maguire, that person that you're with will complete you. That person that you're with will love you. And it's not all about show me the money. <laughs> it's more about making sure that they are whole and that you have a great time with them. Because if not, it's not worth your time. All these dating apps and all these other things, you know, how did we do it back in the past? In the past, we met people in person, face to face. So sometimes you got to sit back and you got to go, you know what? Let me get out there. And if I'm not dating somebody and if I'm not going out with somebody every week or every day or whatever, that's fine. Get quality over quantity. All right. And if you're still using these dating apps and you're not 1% of the 1%, especially for you guys, you're losing your time and your money because some of you pay for this dating app. Um, what's this thing called? Premium subscriptions, you know, yet, you know, you got no chance at all from day one. You've got no chance. So why do that? All right. The other thing is go out there, meet somebody, get to know people first. All right. That's why back in the day, I used to always go out and have a good time with friends and family and stuff like that, because you get to meet people organically and you get to see them in their environment. You get to hang out with them and do activities where you don't have to be all, hey, what's your name? Hey, what's your sign? Hey, what do you do? No, you know these people already because you've hung out with them long enough. You've done what you had to do to get to know them. And if you like them, you like them. If they, you don't like them, you don't like them. But if you like them, at least you know, hey, they do this, they do that, this and this and that. You have the information already. The problem with us is that our intention span is so, so small now, especially with social media, cell phones, internet. You get all the information so fast that if you actually had to wait or sacrifice or do something different, you don't want to do it because it's taking too much time. All right. Sit back, relax, realize that if you're not dating somebody right now, that's OK. If you're not in a relationship right now, that's OK. Why be in a relationship with somebody that you don't care about just to be in a relationship? Why be in a relationship with somebody just because they want to be, you know, amongst their friends? They want to be known as, oh, yeah, the girl who's got the cute guy or you're a guy and you're like, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm really a man because I got me a girl. It's not like that, bro. It's not like that, girl. What it is is like you got to find love, real love. And yeah, real love exists out there. And sometimes the real love you're looking for ain't going to be the one that you want. 
I apologize because the wind's picking up here. Of course, when I'm, you know, I'm walking, I'm not even walking that fast. But uh, it was raining last night here in, uh, in the Tampa Bay area. So, you know, the uh, temperature's dropping. And hey, birdie. <laughs> temperature's dropping and, um, you know, the wind's picking up. So, and also I apologize because in the community, there's a lot of construction going on. It seems like everywhere I go, there's always construction going on. But again, the housing market is not doing so right, right? No. Builders are giving you incentives, cutting prices, doing what they got to do to make that sale. So again, if you, you know, if you want to buy, I, ooh, bugs. If you want to buy a new construction house, you can do it. You can really, really do it. So, so all of that just to bring you down to this GPP. 2024 is going to be a great year as it always is. Every year that you're above the dirt and you're alive is a great year. Okay. I want you to remember that every year that you're breathing, and that you're healthy, um, you want to make sure that, that you, you go to your doctors. I will tell you this. I went to my doctor this year. I finally got a primary care doctor. And now I remember why I don't go to doctors is because the doctor's going to tell you everything that's wrong with you. So that's fine. You know, at least you know. You, I kind of had ideas, but I was like, oh, okay, you know what? Nothing serious. You know, a couple of things. I got to drop 30 pounds and, uh, you know, lose some weight and stuff like that. All right, so that's something that I got to do. I got to change my diet. I can't uh, drink that many highlights anymore. Hey, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, one thing that you should always do is take care of your health. Because without your health, you don't have anything. Without your health, you ain't got money. Without your health, you don't have dating. Without your health, you don't have anything at all. So take care of your health. Go to your doctor. Pick a primary care doctor if you don't have one. I didn't have one. And I got one. And then, of course, you know, he told me, hey, you got ABCD. I'm like, all right. So at least I got ABCD. And he told me how to take care of it. At least I can still take care of it. You understand? It's not going to be at the point where all of a sudden, uh oh, you know, I'm too late. I got six months to live. I got two weeks to live. No, I took care of my business. I went to the doctor. I got the blood test. Everything's good. And I just got to, you know, fix a couple of things here and there. So, um, of course, I had to start in January because if you don't know, um, Hispanics have a thing called uh, Noche Buena. You know, you probably saw the Noche Buena, the Coquitos and things like that. Well, the thing about us is that my sister cooked for uh, the hol uh, for Christmas and Christmas Eve. My mom cooked and they're beasts. Oh, my God. I had everything. For those of you who know, I have uh, pernil which is pork. I had pasteles, which is like a plantain with uh, like a uh, either beef or pork inside. Some of them have chicken. I have pastelitos. Uh, Cubans probably call them empanadas. Um, and actually, I think like South Central American call pasteles tostones or something like that. Uh, tamales, something like that. Anyway, the food was great. Food was awesome. You know, it was it was really, really good. So, of course, I can't <laughs> I can't start during the holidays because Whew, I had to eat and eat I did and I appreciate that so now the holidays are over okay so let's get going and oh wow look at that that's pretty cool <laughs> bye birdies anyway so you know the holidays are over now I can go and I can do what I gotta do um, and it's not a new year's resolution it's just something that I actually have to do because I want to make sure that I live long enough to, you know, to see my grandkids if I have any grandkids or to enjoy the rest of my life in retirement and, you know, and go out there and do what I got to do to, um, you know, to have a good future, a good life. So, you know, I, I did what I had to do to raise the kids. They're done. They're taken care of. Now it's my turn to relax and have a, a better time. Um, luckily, I'm still young enough where I can go out there and have a good time and, and enjoy myself. Some people who started either late in life, and I did a podcast on that, so just go back and listen. Um, you know, some people who started late in life, now they're, they're, they're still being parents at 50, 60 years old. They're not going to enjoy their retirement. You know what I'm saying? So me, on the other hand, yeah, when I was young, I started young, but you kind of... <laughs> You handle your business, and then after that happens, then all of a sudden you realize when you get older, 
oh, okay, I have a lot more time left to live. So that's why I tell you, handle your business, take care of your health. Take care of your physical health, take care of your financial health. And again, it's okay if you're single. It's okay, you don't have to go on a dating app. You don't have to go out there every single day trying to find the love of your life. Sometimes you'll find that the love of your life pops up out of nowhere when it wasn't even expected. And sometimes that's even better because it's organic. So it means that it was meant to be. It's uh, what is kismet, like they say. So, you know, stuff like that. So again, 2024, housing market slowing down. And these are my opinions. And when 2025 hits, you guys can check me or not. 2024, housing market is going to take a hit. Um, inventory is going to go up. Prices are going to go down. Not that many people are going to qualify for loans because some people might become unemployed and won't be able to afford a mortgage anyway. Bitcoin ETF, Ethereum ETF, I think they're going to get adopted. I think it's going to get approved by the SEC. It might take, you know, a couple of months to see increases in the profits on that. And plus there's a Bitcoin halving. So if you're in crypto, again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just my experiences and my, what I'm going to do in 2024. So if you're, uh, if you have crypto, you might be, uh, you know, good to hold onto your crypto. Uh, when the market crashed, the crypto market crash, I knew people who sold the crypto. I never sold. I held onto it and I even bought more lower. And I'm seeing the fruits of that right now. So as it goes up higher, Bitcoin goes higher, a lot, uh, Solana, Ethereum, Cardano, I will be able to uh, eventually transition to a uh, less hectic job and, uh, and allow myself that comfort because of my investment prowess. <laughs> On top of that, relationships, again, if you're in a good relationship, stay with them. Grass is not always greener on the other side. Um, even if you got to live as roommates, that's fine because at the end of the day, you guys understand each other. You don't have to start out new. You don't have to do anything that'll be like, you know, oh man, you know, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're doing this. I'm not used to that. No, stay with that person. You know, there's a reason why you guys are together. You love each other. Stay with that person. Um, if you're looking for love, Put yourself out there, but don't make it a number one thing. Don't make it to where if you don't have somebody, you can't live. Go out, travel. Give you an example. Kevin and I, we went to Nashville. We traveled. We had a good time. Find guys or gals who want to travel. If you're a guy, find a group of guys who want to travel. If you're a girl, find a group of girls who want to travel. Or vice versa, if you're a guy, find a group of guys and girls who want to travel. Or some girls who want to travel. As long as they pay their own way, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? As long as you know them, they don't get you in trouble, that's fine. That's good to go. So go out there, travel, have a good time. Because at the end of the day, a lot of these people on social media are fake. A lot of their videos are fake. A lot of their photos are fake and stuff like that. But you know that if you post on social media something that you did, yeah, you know you were there. Like uh, when I posted that I got upgraded by uh, American Airlines, the first class coming from Nashville back to Tampa. I knew that that happened to me. I showed you the ticket, you know, on the bottom part where it says first class, row one. I think it was row one F as in Frank. I mean, it was great. It was an experience. And again, I said in 2022 to 2023, I'm saying it again, 2023 to 2024. It's about experiences. It's about doing what you got to do to experience life. Okay. Because they can't take that away from you. No matter what happens, they can't take that away from you. You don't want to be in your deathbed talking about, I wish, I wish, I wish. All right? Knowing that for 70, 80, 90 years, you didn't do shit. No, you want to be on that deathbed knowing, hey, I did everything I could in life. I did the best I could in life. And I'm good to go. Because you experienced it. Because you didn't take yourself too serious. And because you put yourself out there and enjoyed the company of other people no matter who they were. So again, in 2024, I just want to let you know, you stay safe out there, you enjoy the ride, and we will keep in touch. Stay tuned for more videos. I have, I'm traveling um, 
I'm looking to go to Fort Lauderdale again next month in February and maybe a local staycation. Uh, on top of that, I'm probably going to do, uh, I'm trying to plan the trip with Kev to go to Austin, Texas. I've never been to Austin, Texas. I've heard good things and bad things. If you know about Austin, Texas, leave me a comment below and just type in, hey, I'm from Austin and these are the good things and these are the bad things. That way, at the end of the day, you know, I'll be uh, aware of what's going on. All right. So look at the beautiful view in the background. They're just building, building, building and building here in the Tampa Bay area, especially up in uh, Pasco County, Florida. Again, Geo's Passion, GPP. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And I am not, uh, what's his name? Um, ah, Jim, uh, not Jim Neighbors. Um, beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day. And you know you would. Would you be mine? Would you be mine? Would you be my neighbor? Uh, Mr. Roger. Yeah, Mr. Roger's neighborhood. So, again, I'm not Mr. Rogers. I'm Jack from Geo's Passion. I hope everybody enjoys the 2024. Stay tuned. Subscribe to the, uh, the YouTube channel. Follow the podcasts. And uh, make sure you like the videos, like the podcast, and leave a comment. And that way we can uh, build Geo's Passion, the GPP, and the Geo's Passion Posse to take over the airways like always. Once again, Geo's Passion, I appreciate everything you do. You are the best. And for those of you who never heard of Geo's Passion, <laughs> welcome and enjoy the ride.